Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me. And today we're going to make this cute little, I guess you could call it a step card, or you could use this for baby blocks and do a little baby shower card. You could do just about anything. It is three dimensional, but it does fall flat to go in an envelope. Now, this will not fit in your regular size envelope. You would have to have one that is about six and a half by say four and three quarters something like that you'd have to have a larger envelope than just the norm but it's not that much larger but I think it's super cute it you can decorate them any way that you want these would like I said these would be absolutely beautiful for a baby shower or baby invitations uh, to make little blocks on there like the little baby blocks so we're going to show you how this one is made. It's real quick, easy, and simple. First off, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is four and a half by twelve, and you're going to put it on the four and a half inch side, and you're going to score at one and a half and at three. Then you're going to turn it to the twelve inch side, and you're going to score every one and a half inches. So you're going to score at one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, and ten and a half. All right, that gets all of your little blocks. You can see those? All your little blocks are in there. Now you're also going to need, since this is just 12 inches, and we don't have any paper that's any longer than 12 inches, you're going to need a little one inch piece, <clears throat> excuse me, that you score in the middle. So score the one inch piece at one half inch. So just score it right down the center. Alright, and that's all you're going to need your scoreboard, so you can put that aside. Can lay this piece aside for the moment. Now, don't go ahead, don't pre fold any of your fold lines. We need to do some cutting first. So, what we're going to do is we're going to count over two from the end and we're going to cut down right here just to that first score line. Then you're going to go in on that and you're going to cut over. Now, if you'd rather do this on your trimmer, that is fine. Switch every way is up to you. You're going to cut over three blocks. We need those three blocks gone. So, those three blocks we need out. So, we're going to cut those out just like that. Right, I'm going to go back and touch this up right here just a little bit where I turn the curve. There we go. Alright, and now you're going to need, <clears throat> right in the middle of these three blocks, you're going to need this one out right here. That one. So you're going to cut that one out just down to that score line right there. Just down to that score line. Alright, after you get that piece cut out, now what you're going to do is you're going to go right where you cut that piece out and you're going to cut over on this score line just to that next block right there. You're going to flip it around and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just to that score line right there. Then you're going to come up here where we cut these three out and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to cut right over to that score line right there. So you've got these two that are loose. You're going to turn it around and you're going to cut over on this one as well. Okay, so this is what you're going to have. You can see that. You've got those two loose and you've got these two loose. So that's what you're going to have when you get finished. Now you can go ahead and fold this one, this long one, 
right here on the end. And then we're going to go ahead and pre-fold this little piece because we're going to need to put some tape on here. And I'm just going to use ATG tape because it seems to hold these together very well. If you want to use score tape, then feel free. So far I've made them and I've used ATG and it's worked fine. Put the ATG tape, the score tape, whatever you're using, put it right up next to that score line in the center. Don't put it way out here. Put it right up to the edge of that score line. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fold those pieces over. Right now what you want to do is you want to flip this over and your folded side is going to go right on the end just like that. What we're doing is making that little piece to join these with just like we do when we put boxes and things together. See we just made a little addition right there. So use your piece that has the fold and put it up there just like that. Okay. Then you can lay this back down, lay this one over. I just I fold it just like that and lay it down and I fold this one over and just bring it right up to meet it just as tight as I can. And while you have that pressed down there you can go ahead and pre-fold this little line right here. Just that one. And then open it back up. Fold that other line at the bottom right there and do your bone folder on that one. And now you're going to turn these in. The ones that you cut, you're going to turn those in and pre you know fold those and use your bone folder on them. So those that are loose is the ones that we're turning in. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. Fold that one in, fold that one in, just like that. And I go ahead and do my bone folder on them just so that they'll be good and straight and hold their shape well. Alright, so we have something that looks like this now with these little loose pieces. All you need to do now is put some adhesive right here. And then you're going to bring this one over right on top of that one. Put the, the folds together, all your score lines together, just like that. So that makes that first little stepper. And now you're going to do, you're put, going to put your adhesive right here on this one. And do the same thing. And I just put my hand in there and press it up right against that score line, making sure that everything is good and even, and then press it together. And there you go. You have, you said there's holes in there. <laughs> that is your stepper like that. And now you are ready to decorate. So all you need to do now is cut you some pieces, ever how you want to decorate it. As you can see on this one, I just did some variety of things. I had some of these little um, cutouts. They were stickers, and I just put those on there. I cut some squares, some backing, put that, you know, just odds and ends. I punched out some butterflies. I put a little bling on there, put a flower on top. This one is themed you know, kind of geared toward love and hello and it says live more, never give up, love this, today let's do this, be brilliant, that rocked, make it happen. That is more of an inspirational card. This one is going to be a little bit different. Now these little pieces that you need to go on here, these are going to be one and three eighths by one and three eighths. And you're going to need 18 of these if you're going to cover the bottom, which I like to cover in my bottom on these because when you fold it flat to put it in an envelope, you know, you can see that. So I went ahead and covered the bottom on all of mine. So go ahead and lay it down and you can start putting your pieces on. And this is just some paper that I had. I think this is from that Bow Bunny collection, uh, Butterfly Kisses, I believe it's called. And this was the wood grain. 
I had some of these left over. This would be a really good project to use your scraps up on because all you need is these little pieces. So I'm going to put these on here and then we'll come back and do a little decorating and this card will be finished. Okay, as you can see we have all of our pieces on there. All of our wood grain pieces and hopefully they're all running in the same direction. And now all you need to do is just start decorating each of your pieces. You can do, you can put anything on them that you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use some of these, uh, again, kind of inspirational things. This one just says, be smart. And I'm not going to worry if they're a little bit long for this. Probably also going to use some circles under there. These are just some circles that I punched out of some scrap paper that I had. I'm just going to decorate them in different ways. The decoration is all up to you. It can be anything that you want. And I'm going to make sure that my B is on there. Then I can trim the other part off. That is the part that's too long. So we'll just snip this right here and snip that right there. And so then we have a little inspirational message right there. And then I think I am going to use some of these little stickers. They were the little cutouts from. The, uh, this paper collection as well. So I think I'm going to use some of those. I'm not sure. I've just got a little pile of pieces here that I have cut up. I'm going to decorate these up and then I'll be back because the decorating is all up to you. It just depends on what you like. Okay, we're finished. We have our card all decorated up. I love how it turned out. I love the wood grain in the back. And then I used little butterflies and bees and a little jar. Be grateful, be smart, little flowers, and you know, a few pieces of bling here and there. And then there's the top. And then this is the other side. So we have a few pieces of bling butterflies, be true, excitement, honey for the bee on there, and then together, excitement, and then I put a little rosette bling right there. So I, I absolutely love it. I think it turned out really cute, and there again, you can fold these flat, send them through the mail. You could decorate them up as much or as little as you want. This makes it look almost like one of those little pocket cards that everyone was trading a while ago. I think some people still are, but you could decorate these up with little messages to your friends and send them out like that. I think that's super cute. So that is it, guys. That is the card. It's absolutely simple. The hardest, I won't say hard, it's not hard at all, but the thing that will take you the longest is just putting your little mats on here and decorating them up, if you, you know, depending on how much you want to decorate. But, you know, I just used some stickers and different things that I had in my scraps and decorated them up, and I think they're super cute. I can't wait to send these out to some of my friends, and I hope you will give this a try. Please. Uh, join in on our challenge. The link is down below. Also, don't forget our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. It's coming up very shortly. We, I think we only like uh, less than 400 subscribers being there. We have lots of sponsors and we're getting more sponsors every day. We're putting up new videos of the sponsors. So we will talk to you guys later. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.